Hey YouTube, it's Bromine again. Today is August 13th, and that means it's my birthday. Um, when I got home today, what was waiting on my doorstep? But a little present from my friends at New Cadia. Uh, so I'm going to show you what comics I got. Um, you know what? New Cadia is great for bargain comics. Um, I got how many comics here? 50 some comics and I paid with shipping $21.79 I paid $20 for 53 comics and I paid $1.79 for shipping the most I paid for any one comic on this was $1.72 um, there were a couple comics that I thought I was getting for free. Uh, they gave me a couple free for the amount of comics I ordered, or the amount of money I spent, I should say. But when I was looking on their um, discount bin, there were four or five comics that were coming up at 100% off. So, you know, who's going to pass the freebie? I clicked off, I think, five or six of them, and I thought I was getting them. Well, they, on their... Uh, invoice. I don't know if you're getting for my <laughs> comics that were zero. Again, I didn't really care. I didn't even know what they were. The comics were American Freak, A Tale of the Unmen, number one and five, Fudang, number one, and Reika, number 13 and 14, uh, 13 and 15. So, um, I thought I was going to score some sweet free comics. And a little upset that they didn't give me any kind of option of getting those at a discount since it was their mistake. But, you know what? They were free. Um, I got all these comics anyways, and I got a great deal. So, in any case, alright, enough of my blabbing. Let's get to the comics in no particular order. Um, other than I grouped them by title. Alright. I'm going to move this birthday button out of here. Alright. So, I got... Bite Club, number, f uh, what is that, number five, number four, and number three. Pretty much just got these for the Frank Quitely covers. Um, again, these were all way cheap. I, I don't even want to list how much I paid for all these. Um, I got a collected volume of Strangers in Paradise. I got this for a dollar. Um... And I think I've seen it for, you know, five or six bucks. Um, just um, new and maybe even more. Um, I got a couple free comics. I mean, these are free comic book day comics, but they included them in my uh, order. Spider-Man, season one, and little Archie number one. Be good for my son to read. Um... I got Dark Knight Returns. I'm sorry, Dark Knight Strikes Again. Um, I paid less than a dollar for this. I'm trying to see if I, but I thought that was a great deal. Um, not as good. The story wasn't. I didn't think as good as the original Dark Knight Returns. But um, hey, you know, I'll cl complete my collection. Actually, I've got this one, but it's a, a um, not a great copy. So I just figured, hey, this is cheap. I'm gonna get it. Um, I got Death, The High Cost of Living, number one, and number three. Um, probably going to give these to a buddy of mine who's into Sandman and Death and all this other stuff, but they were, you know, under a dollar. I couldn't pass them up. And they're near mint. I, everything I got in here was near mint minus or near mint based on their, um, you know, their decision on that. But, um... There are a couple fine pluses, and if I didn't point this out, I think I did before, cool thing about Nucadia is they will list why they rated something on the back. So you can look at it and decide, hey, you know, I don't agree with that. I don't know what they would do, you know, as far as disputing stuff, but, um, you know, at least it's there, and you can see why, and then you, you have a reason. Well, no, the pages weren't white, they were brown. Um, I, I haven't found anything that's been way off yet, so, you know, I've been pretty happy with them. Um, 
Okay, on to the comics. New Warriors number 26 and number 25. Um, just to get. Um, not any, no special reason for New Warriors. Um, Young Avengers presents Patriot. I love the new, uh, the Young Avengers. Um, so I didn't have this one. I picked it up. Uh, Wildcats Trilogy number one, which I think they rent, they said, yeah, it was near mint. So, you know, Wildcats, those are, there's tons of them anywhere. I, I got some more Wildcats too. Um, I got Wildcats number five, number four, number three, number two, which is the most expensive comic that I got. I think this is a dollar seventy-two. Uh, yeah, something like that, which I still think was a good price. Uh, oh no, no, this is a dollar sixty-nine, and Wildcats number one, which. You guys remember from my first video, I got that with my last um, shipment from Nucadia, but this was a quarter. Who can't pass up a number one Wildcats for a quarter, even if everybody has about 12 of these? In any case, those about halfway through, guys. Uh, got the Ultimates number one. Which I think I, I do already have, but they said this was near mint, so I'm going to see if this upgrades from my copy. I uh, got some exterminators for the Tony Moore art, which I enjoy. We got number, I think it's 13, number 12, number 2. I'm not sure which side I'm on with regards to Tony Moore's lawsuit. Um, against uh, Kirkman, um, that is who it is, right? I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, there's a dispute on Walking Dead on, um, you know, whether he was, Tony Moore was forced out and was forced to give up his rights to Walking Dead. Of course, now he's, you know, submitting this claim as the Walking Dead show has um, blown up, but, you know, I'm not sure. Um, whose side to take on this, or whether I should even care. Um, I like Moore's art, I like Kirkman's stories, so, um, you know, let's let them battle out as, I, as long as they keep making good comics. Alright, I uh, got another copy of Squadron Supreme number one. Um, it's like this little issue with the corner down there. I got this last time, but, you know, again, I like this story. Try to get as many copies as I can. Uh, Squadron Supreme number three. Uh, I got Ultimate Fantastic Four number one. There's a sticker on here that says four dollars and fifty cents, but that's not what I paid. I paid. I should have this ready. Can't find it now. There it is. Uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four, a dollar and one cent. So I think that's pretty good. Um, Spawn number 11. It was cheap just to get. Pit number one, again, cheap. I put it with my image comics. Um, Aranya. Always like this cover. Um, always like the story of her as the new Spider Girl. Um, kind of prefer the bug eye glasses to actual Spider-Man outfit, but, um, you know, whatever. Ghost number one, basically for the Adam Hughes art. I think he just did the cover on that. Uh, top ten, number three, and number one. Um, can't go wrong with an Alan Moore story, so I'm um, going to try that one out. And the big run I got here, coming next... Uh, next men, we got number 27, number 16, I believe this is number 15, uh, number 14, number 13, number 12, number 11, 
Number 10, 8, 7, 6, I think you guys see a pattern here, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which I already have a copy of, and there's zero issue. Anyways. So, that's my haul from Nucadia that I got on my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Um, I'm going to list uh, Nucadia's website down in the comments if you guys are interested. I'm also, it's also going to have my affiliate account. So, if you guys decide to, uh, you know, decide to place an order with them, they'll tell them that I referred you, and I'll get a little little um, credit for that um, you know full disclosure there it's not I'm not doing this altruistically I do get a little bit of money um, for referrals so um, but check them out look at their discount bin maybe there's something you guys um, didn't read before but you know want to check out kinda like uh, John Burns next men um, and you can get almost a complete run <laughs> of it and for pennies on the dollar anyways alright guys that's it for me um, should have a couple more videos later this week. Um, until then, talk to you later.